Uh, bring your gloves this way. Just play a bit. Yeah, right there. That's dead in the center of the shoot tree. Welcome to the D.O. Boxing Show. I'm your host, David Akposio, and we're in London, Ontario today with Mark Ruddock from Mark Ruddock Photography. So, I've mentioned in past episodes that it's so important to go out and take professional photos. And I'm not sure if you've seen photos, say, on my Instagram or on Facebook, but you can see the difference in quality from just, say, photos that I take with my phone compared to photos done by a photographer, they're different quality and it's worth the investment. As you can see in the background, the amount of money that's put into taking great photos. So Mark does a lot of photos, especially for fitness shoots, but he's, I would say, one of the top photographers, fight photographers in Ontario right now. And um, he's going to tell us a little bit about his business, what he does, and why, why there's an advantage to using... Um, a photographer like him in terms of getting great prints. So what I do is um, if I'm shooting a fighter promo, for example, I'll bring them into the studio or I can shoot on location and we get uh, multiple lights set up and the advantage for that is is when you get the picture you can be completely cut out of the background at high resolution. That can be dropped on any kind of fight poster or fight promotion or dropped onto like a video if the fight's going to be broadcast on TV. So it gives you just a real easy tool to give to your promoter in order to uh, you know promote yourself and that because uh, guys who don't have that kind of stuff they're left off the poster. If you have bad pictures, you're not getting on that poster. And that helps build your image. A lot of fighters, especially when they're starting out, either in the pro ranks or even just building your profile as an amateur fighter, people need to be able to see you. Um, you don't want to wait until it's just before fight time to interrupt your training. Um, get the photos done ahead of time. You have them. You want to do a press release. You, the, like he said, you want to um, give it to a promoter for, so they can do the posters. You have all that stuff ahead of time. It's great to do ahead of time. Um, so what would be um, like an example of somebody getting started out? What would they expect to pay? Um, what would they be expected to do? So, the number one thing is obviously they have to come in and you know book time with a photographer, and they can either do it in studio uh, where I have excellent control over all the lights and all the situation, or you know we can shoot on location, and we can get there all the shots you need on location. But studio is a little easier. Uh, usually, if I'm shooting an athlete, it's two to three hours worth of work. Uh, it's around $400, it gets you some nice high resolution images, we get different poses, different looks, that sort of thing. So, you know, if you're on a fight poster, you know, we'll get some like this, some more straight on, you know, the Superman pose, you're going to be kind of a solo guy on a poster. So a lot of different looks, a lot of different angles, so you've got a good portfolio, uh, you know, to show, show the promoters and your fans. So that's what you want, you want a very portfolio. And remember, you're making an investment in yourself. Um, it's going to give you variety, and you can use those photos for a number of different things, and you're going to have them for a while. They're going to be able to generate you money in terms of getting you exposure and the ability to um, attract sponsorship or get that sponsorship before you do your photo show, before you do your photo shoot. There's a lot of different ways that you can use to monetize that. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Do Boxing Show. Remember, you can ask us any question related to boxing by sending us a message through Twitter at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O -O, or through email at Ocposio at Hotmail.com. Ask us any question and we'll try and turn it into an episode. We appreciate you turning into, tuning into this episode and we'll catch you on the next one.